actually uh, in Crockford's Hotel inside of the Resorts World Casino. And um, I have my buddy Brandon with me. One time I wanted to come visit California and in the middle from the East Coast to the West, my car broke down and I didn't have any money. So I decided to hitchhike. So I put my thumb up and after about 20 minutes, finally a truck driver came by and then he stopped. So I jumped in with him and said, hey, where are you going? And I said, I'm going out to California. He said, that's where I'm going. Go ahead and jump in. So I jumped in and about an hour later, you know, we stopped and he got me a bite to eat. And he said, hey, I can take you all the way there, but in order to do so, you got to let me suck your dick. And I said, well, you know, okay, that's not bad, because he picked me up in Texas, so that was just to let him suck my dick, and he was going to take me all the way. So I thought that was a good deal. So we went back in the back of his truck and, you know, sucked my dick and swallowed every bit of it, and he was, it was a good blowjob. And I, Christopher Mitchell, personally feel that gambling online is a freaking scam. I will never gamble online, and I don't encourage other people to do so either. Gambling online is controlled by an electronic algorithm. An electronic algorithm can manipulate the outcome of the game. I actually prefer the automated tables now over the tables with the live viewers because it's so much faster. I can hit this button as many times as I want, and it goes. But when you're with a live viewer, you have to wait for them to wait a certain amount of time to spin the wheel or deal the cards. I have also never seen or heard of anybody making the kind of money that I make gambling in a live casino, gambling online. Personal opinion is gambling online is nothing more than a scam and I don't encourage anybody to do it. All right, everybody. Let me explain to you my personal Mitchell Gale betting strategy that I created about three years ago and that's made me over $2 million gambling at the casino. Stop martingaling your bets. You're going to have to start flat betting, but it will help you start winning a lot more often than if you use the martingale. So Secret strategy will send everyone to bankruptcy. Let me be clear, it is statistically impossible to not go bankrupt over the long term while implementing martingale. If you guys don't know who I am, again, my name is Christopher Mitchell. I'm known as the GOAT because I'm the greatest of all time. I'm the number one professional gambler and gambling consultant in the world. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Teach people how to beat casinos all over the world. And the number one way to do it is with my Martingale betting strategy. So what makes Christopher the perfect fake guru is he's created a new system that's a spin-off of Martingale. Stop martingaling your bets. You're going to have to start flat betting, but it will help you start winning a lot more often than if you use the Martingale. So, so that's why I decided to tweak it and I came up with the Mitchell Gale betting strategy. Did you hear that? He said Mitchell Gale. It's the Martingale, but with Christopher's winning strategy laid on top. This doofus really promotes the oldest gambling hack in the game and then just adds his last name to it as if it's a new system. In Stop martingaling your bets. You're going to have to start flat betting, but it will help you start winning a lot more often than if you use the martingale. So I came up with the Mitchell Gale betting strategy. So my personal philosophy is the bigger the risk that I take means the more profit that I should make. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response, were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. So, think of a traditional martingale, but when you double it, you add on additional money on top of it. That's what makes it become a Mitchell Gale. 
Hey, some of you are new to gambling. Martingale doesn't work because A, no one has infinite bankroll in order to handle the inevitable long losing streak, and B, the casino places betting limits on their tables, which prevents you from constantly doubling down. A lot of tables have $1,000 betting limits, meaning you can't place a bet for more than $1,000. As I showed you with this graphic, it only takes five or six losses in a row to reach the limit, even if your bet size is low. Stop martingaling your bets. You're going to have to start flat betting but it will help you start winning a lot more often than if you use the martingale. So with my $25,000 bankroll, here's what I'm gonna do. My starting minimum bet is going to be $100. If I win my first bet, obviously that's going to pay me $100 in profit. But if I lose my $100 bet, I'm not going to double it to $200 like a traditional martingale would do. As you can see, I'm going to double it to 200 plus add an additional $50 on top of it. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Did you hear that? He said, Mitchell Gale. It's the Martingale, but with Christopher's winning strategy laid on top. This doofus really promotes the oldest gambling hack in the game, and then just adds his last name to it as if it's a new system. In Stop martingaling your bets. You're going to have to start flat betting, but it will help you start winning a lot more often than if you use the martingale. So, so if I win my second bet of $250, it doesn't pay me $100 in profit, it pays me $150 in profit. Now, if I were to lose my $250 bet, I'm not going to double it to $500, which is what the traditional martingale betting system requires. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to double it to 500 plus add an additional $50 on top of it to make it a $550 bet. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. And let me just go down a couple more. If I were to lose the $550 bet, I'm not gonna double it to $1,100, which is what the Martingale betting system says to do. I'm going to double it to 1100 plus add an additional $50 on top of it. So if I have to place that $1,150 bet, I'm going to make $250 in profit. So what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Stop martingaling your bets. You're going to have to start flat betting, but it will help you start winning a lot more often than if you use the martingale. So this is what I'm talking about. The bigger the risk that I take means the more profit that I should make. Or some people say, no, it's not 50 50 because you got the green zero. Yes, but that doesn't hit very often, so I'm not worried about that. This is exactly why the casinos win. Let's call this the Mitchell Gale fallacy, where you just ignore the house's edge. The spin falling on green zero rarely happens, so let's not worry about it. The green zero is one portion of the house's edge. Him saying, don't worry about the green zero, is like the football coach of your favorite team saying, oh, our specialists aren't on the field often, so we don't ever practice special teams. But now, bear with me. If I were to lose this $1,150 bet, I'm not going to place a $2,300 bet, which is a double, also known as the Martingale. See, I'm going to double it and then add an additional $100.
Or some people say, no, it's not 50-50 because you got the green zero. Yes, but that doesn't hit very often, so I'm not worried about that. This is exactly why the casinos win. Let's call this the Mitchell Gale fallacy, where you just ignore the house's edge. The spin falling on green zero rarely happens, so let's not worry about it. The green zero is one portion of the house's edge. Him saying don't worry about the green zero is like the football coach of your favorite team saying, oh, our specialists aren't on the field often, so we don't ever practice special teams. If you guys don't know who I am, again, my name is Christopher Mitchell. I'm known as the GOAT because I'm the greatest of all time. I'm the number one professional gambler and gambling consultant in the world. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> don't know who I am. Again, my name is Christopher Mitchell. I'm known as the GOAT because I'm the greatest of all time. I'm the number one professional gambler and gambling consultant in the world. Use your freaking brain, you'll stop following this fake guru. Christopher claims to be a professional gambler, but he is nothing more than an amateur in his knowledge of gambling principles and statistics. Christopher claims to be a professional roulette gambler, which is comical because there's no way to win in roulette long term. In roulette, the casino always holds an edge on every gamble, meaning they have a higher statistical probability of winning on every hand than the gambler. Picture it like this. Imagine walking into a park and handing 100 people a weighted coin. Every single coin gives you an advantage such that you win 50 three out of a hundred times and they only win 47. They might have some winning streaks and you might not notice the edge in the first 10 coin flips, but over time you will win 53 out of a hundred as the flips regress to the mean. This is what the casinos do. They have a small edge on every single person that walks in the casino. Of course. What's going on everybody? Christopher Mitchell here, also known as the GOAT. And right now I am standing in the closet inside my bedroom. Christopher Mitchell here, also known as the GOAT. And right now I am standing in the closet inside my bedroom. Christopher Mitchell here, also known as the GOAT. And right now I am standing in the closet inside my bedroom. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Christopher Mitchell here, also known as the GOAT, and right now I am standing in the closet inside my bedroom, about to iron my $100 bills. So, um, I've actually never made a video about this before, but this is something I do when I'm about to go on a trip. A gambling trip um, I am very obsessive compulsive <laughs> and uh, I absolutely hate crinkled up hundred dollar bills so <laughs> no 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 <laughs> claims to be a professional gambler but he is nothing more than an amateur in his knowledge of gambling principles and statistics Christopher claims to be a professional roulette gambler, which is comical because there's no way to win in roulette long term. And use your freaking brain, you'll stop following this fake guru.